really finding with this tech pilot that all of the students are becoming more engaged using this technology. We have students using iPads to do more reading and students who weren't interested in reading before are really excited to pick it up and use even reading A to Z programs. We've got students who are so excited to start projects and they'll say, I'll give them instructions to say, Let, let's get our slides organized and they'll just say, can we go on Stormboard? Can you make us a storm so that we can get this all done? And all of the students are excited to put pictures into their presentations and just to make those storms and to comment on each other's ideas. And they have that accountable talk and it's fantastic. And building these Nearpods, the students are so excited to consolidate all of their learning into a presentation and then they can display it for everybody. They're going to different classes to show them all of their learning and it's like showing their learning from a mountaintop. It's really been fantastic. Part of science is the research aspect. So what I want is like within their groups they have access immediately to research. So I'm going to be getting the eight laptops so that I know that every group will have at least that. Mm -hmm. Then they'll have the additional, whether they have iPads or their iPhones or other kinds of smartphones that can access the Wi-Fi as well. And so then now what we can build in is that as they're planning to their experiments, they're also doing their research at the same time. They don't use technology, they are technology, and it's just kind of ingrained in their everyday lives. And so they see it as something that is just there. They've never really kind of existed without the internet and having the ability to go online and look up answers and use different applications to help them solve problems. So by bringing their own stuff into class, it's almost an extension of themselves. We're already teaching citizenship and promoting social innovation in our classrooms. We now need to transfer that knowledge and extend the same learning to digital citizenship. Technology allows us to implement and assess learning experiences and to engage students and improve learning. Students are asked to find a specific sight word, and if they find the sight word, they can check to see if it's right by scanning the QR code, and it takes them to a, a really high interest YouTube song about that sight word. Evernote to create student portfolios. The students use Skitch to label um, their drawings. They add a comment about what the learning goal was to show their knowledge. So this particular student, I was able to install Evernote on it and link his portfolio on here to his portfolio on his tablet to give him access. So he's able to do things on his tablet and save them to the portfolio, which I can see. I'm able to add things for him that he can then share at home with his parents. So why do I have Angry Birds on the screen in a math class? Well, every one of us plays this game, and we look at it, and we can identify what the birds are doing, but we all can't see that there are parabolas all over this game. And the creators of this game could not have made this game had they not had some knowledge of math and how quadratics and parabolas work. And it's unbelievable how much math is behind all the video games that you guys play every single day. I think because it takes the focus off me and it allows them to do the learning themselves. And, I, and they are thrilled with the idea that they, whatever they can do instantly is shared with their ideas, not just out loud, but they can see concretely whether they're drawing or whether whatever they're doing can be shared just instantly. Now I'm trying to find ways that are much more collaborative so that you're working together. And even if you don't have a device, there's every group has that laptop. And then you, someone else still could be using their smartphone. No one is ever going to feel um, out of place because they don't have the technology. I'm using it as an immediate research tool rather than having to go book a computer lab. It's now right part of designing your experiment that day. Professional development days, we have workshops around new ideas and sharing best strategies in the classroom in terms of teachers using technology. And so we have teachers share and present what they're using. And then we actually have the staff try and build on that learning. And so they are learning together um, on technology. They're going to be going out to the real world and using this stuff every single day. And to have them use it in the classroom makes everything we do a little bit more applicable.